Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, this is Pratik Srivastava here and in our today's session we are going to cover TCS NQT 2021 first slot aptitude questions. So friends, if you have still not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe because we are giving you the fastest update and we are first to upload the aptitude questions of TCS NQT 2021 first slot examination. So let us start with the question number one. So this is a question from the simplification and the questions in the examination are of medium level. So if the positive square root of a square root of 90 plus a square root of 80. So if you are calculating a positive a square root of this values. Okay. And then if you multiply by a square root of 2 minus 1 and if the product is raised to be 4 then what will be the result okay friends in the calculator you cannot calculate a square root so what we can do friends as you know 9 square will be equal to what 81 right so this will be nothing but 9 okay so this will be near to 9 we will see friends what is your answer accordingly we will decide and then friends plus so a square root of 90 friends as you know 95 square we can easily calculate because already I have taught you the square of number ending with 5 5 fives are 25 and 9 you increase by 1 it will become 10 so 9 into 10 will be 90 okay so it will be nothing but 9.5 okay we are calculating the near values so it will be 18.5 right so we calculated the square root of this okay and then above that we have one more square root into a square root of 2 will be 1.414 right a square root of 2 will be nothing but 1.414 and we have to subtract 1 so it will become 0.414 so I will just write for time being here 0.414 now now friends as you know see if this is a square root of 16 then it will be nothing but 4 so what we will do we will calculate a nearby values okay and 45 square also we know 5 square will be 25 and 4 fives are will be 20 so this we can take one middle value so this we will take 4.3 and this I will take a nearby value 0.4 or you can take the complete value and then you can use the calculator and then you can see what will be the value so let me use the calculator so that it will be easy for you so 4.3 into okay point 414 it will be nothing but 1.7802 this we will multiply it by four times because raised to the power four right so 1.7802 into okay again 1.7802 again into 1.7802 and it will come around 10.04 right so it will come around 10.04 so our answer will be nothing but here friends 10 point okay after this if you calculate to the power to the power 4 then it will come 1.7802 to the power 4 and it will come around 10 so my answer will become option b so friends like this smartly you have to solve the problem in the examination the problems are not difficult the only thing you need to take care of it very carefully okay now question number two friends so the collection of numbers below is in ascending order okay if the median of the data is 12.5 then what is the value of n so we have 3 7 9 then n minus 1 and then 15 18 19 and 20 so friends recently i had uploaded a video on the statistics so using the same concept you will be easily able to solve the question so what is the number of numbers so number of numbers is equals to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 right then so median will be nothing but median will be nothing but mean of as we know see if the number of numbers are even then we have to take middle two number and then we have to calculate the mean so basically n minus 1 and plus 15 divided by 2 and the median is already given 12.5 right see if the number of numbers is even then your median will be nothing but mean of so first you have to calculate n by 2th term and n by 2 plus 1th term so n by 2 so 8 by 2 will be nothing but 4th term 
so 1 2 3 4th and 5th term you have to consider and then you have to calculate the mean of that that is we already know now n 15 minus 1 will be 14 okay and 2 into 12.5 will be 25 so n will be 25 minus 14 which is nothing but 11 right so they're asking the value of n so the value of n will be 11 that means option a now friends question number three so what is the mean deviation so friends this is a new term and you must be knowing about the mean deviation okay so friends in mean deviation first we need to calculate the mean so let us try to calculate the mean of this number so 8 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 16 plus 20 plus 24 plus 30 plus 32 plus 34 and divided by how many terms are there so we calculated the we are going to calculate the mean 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so divided by 10 total if you'll add friends you'll be getting around 200 so you can take the help of calculator 200 by 10 will be nothing but 20 so we got the mean value now friends our mean deviation our mean deviation is nothing but see they are only telling mean deviation that means from the mean that means from the mean what is the deviation between them from the mean what is the deviation between them that we have to calculate so mean deviation will be x minus x bar divided by the number n right okay so what is the deviation so 20 20 and 8 deviation is 12 then 9 and 20 deviation is 11 friends mod is there so do not consider the negative sign then this is deviation is 8 plus deviation is 5 plus deviation is 4 plus deviation is 0 plus deviation is 4 plus deviation is 6 plus deviation is 12 plus deviation is 14 divided by total 10 now friends if you'll add everything it will be 80 and 80 by 10 will be nothing but 8 so our mean deviation will be nothing but 8 for the question number 3 friends you use the calculator that is the opportunity which you have so please try to use the calculator now friends question number 4 how much percentage is this of 0.9 friends if I ask you so in a simple way how much percentage is 2 of 4 so how will you calculate so 2 divided by 4 in 200 so it is nothing but it is nothing but 50 percent so in a simple way friends we will be also doing the same thing so 0 0.025 percentage of 240 percentage of 1.5 divided by 0 0.9 in 200 this is what we have to solve so friends let us try to solve it so after decimal we have three digit so i will write directly 25 after decimal three digit means thousand okay and this percentage will bring here 100 into 240 percentage again percentage will bring 100 down 1.5 okay so friends this decimal and this decimal will go off so it will become only 15 and then divided by 9 and then into 100 okay now so friends this 100 and 100 will get cancelled okay simply now so 25 4 times will be 100 1 0 1 0 will get cancelled 4 will get cancelled by 6 times and 9 and 15 6 is 90 so this is 10 times so 10 divided by 100 which is nothing but 0 0.1 so it's a very simple problem so 0 0.1 option c will become the correct answer for the question number 4 so how much percentage so the percentage will be nothing but 0 0.1 percentage right okay done now friends question number 5 seems to be little big but this is a question which is repeated from the previous year okay so this is a question which is repeated from the previous year problem okay and this is basically again simplification problem you need to create the equations so in a competitive exam five marks are awarded for every correct answer and every wrong answer two marks are deducted Satvik has scored 32 marks in this examination okay so suppose x questions are correct okay and y questions he is doing incorrectly okay now how much marks he will score so for each correct answer 5 so 5x and for each incorrect answer uh, it is each incorrect answer 2 marks is deducted so minus we will subtract and then he is able to get 32 marks this is my equation 1 okay now if 
the four marks had been awarded for each correct answer now if four marks has been awarded for each correct answer and one marks has been did deducted for the each incorrect answer then satvik is getting 34 marks so this is equation 2 now i will multiply 2 here so 5x minus 2y will be equal to 32 and 4 into 2 is 8x minus 2y will be equal to 68 so this is minus plus minus this will get cancelled 3x will be equal to minus we will ignore 8 minus 2 is 6 because here also you are getting minus x value will be nothing but 12 now put the value of x here so 4 into 12 minus y will be 34 so y will be equal to 48 minus 34 so 8 minus 4 is 4 14 so that means 12 question is correct and 14 questions he has done incorrectly so how many questions were there in the test so if he attempted all then 26 questions were there in the test so for question number 5 option b will be the correct answer now friends question number 6 is a very simple question 5 to the power x into 3 to the power y is equals to 225 into 405 basically we have to factorize so 225 is nothing but 15 square 15 into 15 so that is 5 into 3 and then 5 into 3 so i can write 5 into 3 into 5 into 3 then 405 so if we'll try 5 81 times then 3 27 times then 3 9 times and then 3 3 times so 5 into 3 to the power 4 so basically if you'll see 5 3 times so 5 cube and 3 4 plus 2 times 3 to the power 6 so 5 to the power x into 3 to the power y will be equal to 5 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 6 so x is equals to 3 and y is equals to 6 now they are asking you to calculate x to the power 2y minus 3x okay so 2y y is 6 minus 3 into 3 so x and what is the value of x the value of x is nothing but 3 so 3 to the power 12 minus 9 3 cube 3 cube will be 27 such a simple question so option b will be the correct answer so when the simple question were also there in the examination the only thing uh, it is adaptive in nature so definitely easy questions and then we will be getting difficult questions okay now there was a question from simple and compound interest okay so a sum invested on a simple interest grows to rupees 22,500 in seven years friends so if you would have got our materials then you would have clearly uh, seen this kind of questions we have done multiple questions right okay so suppose x rupees you invested and it became 22,500 in seven years and then it became 25,500 in nine years right okay so we could see in two years we could see in two years how much interest we are getting so in two years zero minus zero is zero zero minus zero is zero five minus five uh, five is zero and five minus two is three so in two years we are getting three thousand rupees simple interest right okay so one year how much simple interest we will be getting so this is nothing but 1500 rupees now so you invested x rupees for how many years seven year one year interest is 1500 so in seven year you would have earned seven into uh, 1500 and then the total money you would have got after seven years is 22500 right so x plus this will become 10500 will be equal to 22500 so x will be equal to 00 5 minus 5 is 0 and this is nothing but 12,000 so basically we got the principal right okay and simple interest we already know it is nothing but 1500 right see simple interest we already know what is the simple interest friends so simple interest for seven years right is how much 1500 and principal is how much 12,000 time is nothing but seven years so just calculate the rate so si will be friends for this question later on i will tell you the tricks as well so simple interest will be 10,500 principal is 12,000 rate is uh, we have to calculate time is 7 divided by 100 2020 cancel and if we we'll try to divide so r will be 10500 divided by uh, 120 into 7 840 so this is cancel and 84 or 12.5 times so rate will be nothing but 12.5 percent so friends we have got the seven question which was said by the students and that questions we have tried to solve it 
and as soon as we are getting the other questions of aptitude reasoning and coding we will try to solve all other questions so friends please uh, like share and subscribe with your friends so that they will be able to utilize as much as possible thank you friends